All right, welcome back to another DMZ video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you the Shadow Company Tier 5 Mission Insurance Premium. Now, this mission is going to have two steps to it. And the first step is going to be actually destroy all iconic vehicles in a Vondale deployment. Now, this means you're going to be destroying all jet skis, the RHIBs, and yes, the TAVs, the new tactical amphibious vehicle. But there's one boat most people don't look for, and they have to destroy it also, and it's going to be the Armor Patrol boat. Now, there's many ways you can destroy all these vehicles, and that's one way. You can get into this uh, armor patrol boat, and you can ride around and shoot at all of the vehicles, including the tactical amphibious vehicle, and then destroy them like that. Now, you also can just shoot at the regular jet skis and the RHIBs with a assault rifle. They don't take that many bullets to destroy them, and that way you can save from having to shoot them with a launcher, which I'm going to talk about next. If you want to do another way, to me, the easiest way is to spawn in with a launcher and just go around and just destroy them like that. The best launcher to use is the Joker. Now, I tried it, I tried it that way, and that was the quick and easiest way, but then I had to, I got killed or something, and then I had to use a RPG. That works just as fine, but the Joker is the best one due to the fact it's a one-shot kill. But once you get all these vehicles destroyed, you can move to step two, which is asking you to destroy the Bullfrog Commander in the same deployment. Now, there's many ways of doing that also. Now, most people are using uh, kill streaks to kill the Bullfrog now. I personally haven't did it that way. I just choose to do it the classic way and just jump on top of them and just kill them that way. Um, but in this particular mission, I try to do it that way. And then he about ran me out of bounds, so I had to jump off and then wait till he turned around. And then I finished him off. That was close. <laughs> now, let it be known, you don't have to do these steps in order. You can do step two first, then step one. Me personally, I think doing step one worked for me better than moving to two. But if it works for you to do step two, you can do it that way. It doesn't matter. But once you get both of these steps completed, this mission will be completed and you'll be able to move on. Now, if, this, if you like this video and it helps you out, hey, give it a thumbs up. You know, see more like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you'll be notified when the next DMZ video drops. Peace. See y'all in the next one.